I guess you have done your graduation in biological science and now you want to seek for an industrial job. Many people may told you while you are enrolling into this course that you will get a job really fast but now you are finding it really difficult to get an industrial job only with the help of your graduation course in biotechnology or in microbiology, zoology any of this general science stream. Then this video is just for you because in this video I am going to tell you some bridge courses which you can do with very less expense in one year of time frame that will directly launch you to get an internship from biotech industries directly from the industries either a paid internship or a free internship and after the internship you will probably get a job and your fresher tag will be removed forever. So if you want to know about the secret to get into this postgraduate diploma courses then this video is just for you. Because most of these life science pass out students and biological science pass out students find it difficult to get a job in the industrial sector because they are all fresher. So you need to get rid of this term fresher because these uh, streams are just general stream and we know it's very difficult to get a job right after a general stream graduation in biological science. Now here I am to tell you a six a very important and good postgraduate diploma courses. Uh, okay after the graduation in any stream of life sciences that can be based in zoology, botany, microbiology, uh, physiology, uh, biotechnology, any of this field it may be, uh, biochemistry, molecular biology, any field it may be, but these are the five things. I have listed that uh, so that I should not uh, forget any of that. So I will be ranking them based on the degree of their importance and degree of their way to get you a job okay so the course number one and which is a very good course in my opinion is the clinical research course clinical research course is going to help you to secure a job really really fast it's from my personal opinion i've seen many of my students after doing clinical research from a reputed place you know from either private uh, as well as government but there are more private colleges offering this you need to always check whether the private colleges are offering uh, placement services after completion of the course. If the placement is offered by them and if it's uh, authentic, you, you can enroll. There is no big deal. So this clinical research course, as I told you, this course is going to uh, teach you how to deal with the clinical data and clinical data management. Uh, you know, big pharmaceutical companies, they run clinical trials of medicines in human. So what you need to do, you need to look for all the data and analyze the data and study them in details and all these things and the big thing about this clinical research and this course is that generally this course is all about one year duration one year duration course there are two courses you know clinical research management uh, postgraduate diploma diploma is only for one year course and uh, there is a certificate course of postgraduate uh, uh, clinical research and that is of uh, six months course certificate course is not good so i'll recommend you to do the diploma course on clinical research and in that clinical research, they'll be uh, teaching you the clinical research management, sometimes patent management a little bit, and there will be the pharmacovigilance, which are some, some sub branches from this course, but majorly it's a clinical research course that can help you to secure a good job. Now, the second one uh, is, uh, so what is the salary you can accept, expect after clinical research? You know, the salary per annum you can expect somewhere from uh, 2.5 lakh to 3.5 lakh at the starting. Then come to the second uh, which I think is important here is the medical lab technology or medical lab technician MLT. Now DMLT can be done right after plus two. Okay. But sometimes what happens, you know, due to lack of guidance, people don't get into that. You know, people don't understand the importance of DMLT course. Then they realize after doing graduation, there is no job and they desperately seek a job. In that case, still you can enroll into a DMLT course. You can enroll into a diploma course or certificate DMLT course. Better to get into a diploma DMLT course. If you get into a diploma DMLT course, this course is also a very foolproof course to get a good job. Uh, I mean, it's not a, of a high salary payout job at the starting. But as you get experience, you, your salary will be increased, but you will get a job faster. The third one is paramedical courses. Okay. So I can put a paramedical course as well as the intellectual property right courses or IP management course, both in the third ranking. All the paramedical courses are not of that importance in India till now, but I think in the future times, the paramedical course importance will increase. So I can put the intellectual property management. Intellectual property management is needed. It's just like mostly a law course rather than a life science course. 
because intellectual property management uh, will teach you about the intellectual property rights and how to maintain intellectual property rights of your client your client can be a pharma company your client can be a single company any other company a small pharma company by any fmcg company cosmetics company any of these companies any of these industries can hire you as a intellectual property manager for them because you know if they are working with products or somebody is working with any service which is unique to them they want to get a patent so you also need to get a course of patent management along with that ip so in that case intellectual property right course will teach you some of the legislation acts to uh, maintain a patent and, and uh, for a company or for a place and how to apply for that and how to manage uh, this intellectual property and if somebody violates the intellectual property right then what are the legal consequences that you can take against them and all these things about that and it's mandatory for every single production house production units whether it's uh, fmcg whether it's cosmetics whether it's uh, any of the pharmaceutical companies and pharmaceutical companies can give you really good payout after the IP and with the experience of six to eight years in IP or intellectual property rights you can draw a monthly salary of 60 to 80 thousand rupees yes you can get that much of salary as at this part you know although in the pharma companies you know in this case of IP or intellectual property management they will teach you both pharmacology and all this pharmacovigilance along with that they will teach you uh, the data handling data management they will also teach you about some law and how to handle all that okay so all these things will be there I'll be talking about this individual uh, postgraduate diploma courses in, uh, in separate videos in details now the fourth one I can uh, tell you is bioinformatics and biostatistics both together Biostatistics is also taught during the clinical research and clinical data management where biostatistics is needed to analyze the data and graph and charts for the clinical trials. But separately there will be bioinformatics and biostatistics courses. Bioinformatics courses uh, generally last for one year, biostatistics also for one year. This course is, is a bridge course that will directly teach you how to um, analyze a data set and how to handle the bioinformatics tools in the different labs where the drug is being developed because in the drug development team uh, they need many bioinformatics they are working day and night to find out the drug targeting mechanism and they are finding out let's say in this case of situation of corona pandemic uh, they are talking about the sequence analyzing the sequence and matching the sequence with the existing viruses so these are the type of uh, works that need to be done during the drug development team so bioinformatics are always needed Although they always focus on bioinformatics from PhD as a team leader, bioinformatics in MSc preferably, but with the bioinformatics course and if you know some of the programming, particularly Python, particularly Java, uh, those courses, they help you to get a job really, really fast because the demand and the supply is, uh, the demand is uh, not very high, but it's moderate, but the supply is very less. Okay, particularly in India, the India spends only 1% of the GDP in the bioinformatics courses out there. So still, the demand will rise in the future, but the supply is very low because very few people actually do the courses. So you can try this course out. The fifth one uh, and the last one I can put it here is the food safety course. Food safety course is another one, but I put it in the fifth side because uh, I really don't find it that much lucrative to get a job fast. Uh, but still the food safety course is there to help you understand about the food handling and food safety in the food packaging industries so you can get a job in the FMCG industries like that. Now for all these courses as these are diploma courses they will not consume more of your time so after graduation it will take only one year of your life and after that one year you will be getting a job if you have conducted the course from if you have taken this course from a good reputed university who offers you reputed college who offers placement then you'll get a job really fast in the industry and the, the main goal is to get a job you don't need to look for the salary at the beginning the salary for all these courses are not that high at the beginning as I told you the salary ranges from somewhat 20,000 rupees per month to 30,000 35,000 rupees per month at max at the starting but what will happen is that in the future times the salary will increase once you have experience in that same field so this is the idea you know you need to remove your fresher stag from your uh, CV 
and that's uh, this course will successfully will do after completion of the course you'll get a internship in institutes in universities in colleges in industries and in those places once you do this internship for six months or something uh, sometimes internships are paid sometimes they are free you need to do the work for free but after the internship if you prove yourself you need to build a contact and if you do a good work they will absorb you for sure and then they will be given you uh, like one to two years of provision after that sometimes they have bonds or something but after that once you get the experience of two to three years your salary will increase and it will be easy for you to get a job in this field of biotech industry so this is the golden rule of biotech industry is to remove your freshers drag and this postgraduate diploma courses are the exact thing that you need to get rid of the freshers tag now what are the fees for all these courses although the fees will be varying for all these courses but for a general rule of thumb i can tell you these courses generally offer the fees from somewhat 50,000 to 1 lakh 50,000 rupees. This is a one year course, all of them are one year course and they range from 50,000 to 1 lakh 50,000 depending upon which institutes are offering that. Some institute which offers 99%, 100% placement generally charge more from students and they actually not only prepare you for this subject but also prepare your personality. They will also invest in personality development skills, uh, spoken English development skills and all these skills for you to get a job faster. So always do your homework before signing into any of this college and institutes. You need to look for previous year students, find them, talk to them regarding the, their experience, then only join any of them. So that's all about the postgraduate diploma courses. So again, I tell you the first thing is the clinical research. Second is the medical lab technology. Third, uh, as well as the paramedical services. Uh, third is the bioinformatics, biostatistics. Fourth is uh, the food safety, intellectual property data also rank along with uh, the paramedical services with that. Okay, so the best three are the clinical research, the medical lab technology and the intellectual property right and paramedical services. These are the three top uh, most important postgraduate diploma courses that you can try after your graduation in any of the biological science field. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more and more career oriented video like that. Thank you. Bye.